Time now for our Spotlight program here on this Monday. As we do every Monday, we welcome in Mindy from the Fairfield Area Chamber of Commerce. I want to remind you to sign up for the Monday morning newsletter, Chamber Chatter. It gives you a quick overview of all the cool things happening throughout the community, not just uh, chamber-affiliated items, but other things as well. And as I was looking on there, there were two chamber items that popped out. Uh, first and foremost, uh, Leadership Fairfield starting very, very soon. Is the window to sign up closed yet? Nope, I have, uh, I think, four spots remaining. Okay. I can get four more folks in. And and for those who aren't completely familiar with uh, Leadership Fairfield, maybe just a quick elevator pitch. Yep, so it's an eight-month program where you have a topic each month. You do some team building. You go on um, behind-the-scenes tours. Um, it's a really great opportunity to see Fairfield from a different perspective and get to go places that not anybody can just go. All right, so um, four spaces left. Yep. The, the actual uh, program begins when? First Tuesday in September. First Tuesday in September. First Tuesday of each month. Uh, actually, I, I misspoke. There were three things that piqued my interest. The oh. next thing on the list was the uh, Barnyard Bash. We're about a month away from that. Yep, we've got some booth spaces left, so if you don't have your booth get signed up, we're going to move those around and give people some more space to move. Um, we felt it was a little crowded last year, um, but there's going to be a lot of great things out there. The horses drawn wagons and all of the making rope and shelling corn. We'll have some bounce houses. It's going to be a good time. And on top of that, they've actually added some more things out at Mazden Barns. We're talking yes. about it at Mazden Barns, Barnyard Bash. So uh, things will be uh, moved around and reconfigured a little bit more. And then lastly, that was on my list was the uh, 2023 teacher appreciation event. And we are honestly... About a month. A month? It's the September 13th. That's September 13th? Yeah. And and uh, it's open to all uh, area teachers who are new to their Absolutely. district. Speaking Van Buren, Cardinal, Fairfield. MSAE, all of them. And you don't have to be new. If you are new, make sure you tell us because we're going to have a special gift for our new teachers this year. Um, it's a really great opportunity as a community to give back to those teachers and say thank you for all that they do. I want to remind you, you can sign up for that Monday morning newsletter. Email the chamber, chamber at fairfieldiowa.com. You can also um, go onto their website, fairfieldiowa.com as well. And uh, one other quick note, I know that you have a great calendar of events. I was talking earlier this morning. I know that you know about it. Um, Fairfield360.com. Yes. A wonderful community calendar there as well. Absolutely. We're, we appreciate um, the CBB for making that happen. Uh, it'll take us a little time to all get trained, but I think that it'll be a great opportunity for every event in the community to be in one central location. It's one of the things that when we did some visioning that we heard the most of is, I don't know when anything happens. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I get a lot of that as well. Uh -huh. You know that. Mm -hmm. uh, before we get to your guests, I do want to remind you that uh, we record, video record most Chamber Talks, and you can learn about that at the uh, Fairfield Media Center's YouTube page, or also there will be a link at the Fairfield Chamber of Commerce website. And as always, it features the best back of the head <laughs> in radio. We do have a guest today. It's my friend Jeremy. I'll let you take over. Thanks, Steve. Good morning, Mr. Jeremy Cranston. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I am so glad that I saw your video on pre-planning because it is one thing that people don't think about until the it's time to think about it, and then you've got all of the emotions. So tell me about, you did one of these about a month ago. Mm -hmm. So talk to me about what pre-planning really means. Okay, so pre-planning can mean several things, but it's really getting things done ahead of time, as most people would think. But we run into a lot of questions that people have, um, even if they have family members that have already pre-planned. Um, they may not have really delved into what that means, and when the time comes, they maybe don't quite understand what's happening. Um, what this does is allows people to find out in a no-pressure situation what pre-planning is, how it can be beneficial for them and their family members. Um, sometimes you're looking at helping with parents' final arrangements and things like that. There's always a lot of questions that surround that, and we find that offering this no-pressure situation allows people to come in, listen to what we have to say, but also ask questions um, and, and get their questions answered um, in a situation where grief really isn't factoring into it. Um, and, and it just makes them feel better about the decisions that they're making moving forward. And you have a beautiful new bu building to host this in. Yep, we're going to have it at our new location out at 2805 West Burlington Avenue. Um, there's plenty of spacious room for you to come sit and, and watch. we got state-of-the-art uh, sound and video. Um, and it's just really a chance for people to kind of check things out. Um, and we even delve into more things than just pre-arrangements. We touch on some of the legality that goes on with cremation and what needs to take place that a lot of people don't understand. 
um, and talk about some of those topics that we get asked often or people are surprised when they find out. We try and answer those ahead of time as well. Very nice. Very nice. So um, talk to me about your new building because it is gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah, it was something that when we uh, purchased the Raymond Funeral Home a little over five, six years ago now, we, we looked to do something like this. This has been my dream since I started was to put Cranston Family Funeral Home in a one level location where we could really serve families, all families um, well. And I feel like that's what we've done out there. Um, it's definitely, we've been out there since about mid January. Um, a lot of positive feedback. It's worked very well for us and we're continuing to do improvements as we move forward, especially around the outside and things like that. Um, ample parking, that was one of the biggest things we had downtown. Yes. Um, and again, that was a wonderful building downtown too, but this is just a little more modern and has a very warm and comforting feel. So um, people are welcome to stop in any time. We're there 8.30 to 4.30, uh, five days a week. Of course, we're there often a lot more than that, but the <laughs> doors are open in the front during that time. And, and we always welcome people just to swing in and, and take a look and visit with us. So, so if somebody uh, wants to come to your uh, pre-planning, it is on August 20th, yep, Sunday. Sunday at 2 p.m. at the new funeral home. So there's you don't have to pre-register or anything like that. You're welcome just to show up. We've got ample room for anybody. Um, you can always call in to the office, too, at 472-3176. You'll visit with myself or Juanita or Ryan. Um, we can answer your questions over the phone if you can't make it. I also want to mention that if you can't make it to this and you don't feel comfortable coming to the funeral home, we always will come to your house. Um, if you're more comfortable there, let's have a cup of coffee. Let's sit down and have a drink. Let's just talk about it um, where you feel comfortable. And that, that's our main goal. I love that. You do a great job of making sure that people know all of the ins and outs, because when you get there and you're grieving, it's hard to work through that. Absolutely. Yep. There's a lot of decisions that don't get thought of um, when the time comes and your mind is just very um, confused. And, and we want to make sure that we're walking you down that path um, and helping you celebrate your loved one's life without having to stress about some of the decisions you're not familiar with. So. And you're not just here in Fairfield. Right. Yep. Thank we you, also, Steve. Yep. We also have uh, <laughs> locations in Kiyosakwa and Eldon. Um, we definitely um, serve all the communities around the area, um, so just feel free to check with us anytime. Yes, so you can do the, the funeral portion of it, you can do the cremation portion of it, and you have monument sales. We do, yep. That was something we started quite a few years back. Um, we do our own foundations and monument sets and everything and can sell a full line of monuments as well. So. Um, it's just kind of the farm kid in me. I didn't like always being in the office. This gives me the opportunity to have a few pieces of equipment and uh, get out of the Toys. office and enjoy <laughs> enjoy being um, at some of these neat cemeteries too. So Well, and your daughter uh, has her own little uh, mm -hmm. career going here. She does. She does uh, Ireland's Monumental Cleaning where she cleans uh, headstones. She's done signs, bricks, things like that too. Um, it's really been a good little thing for her, for us to teach her how to visit with people, quote things, um, you know, talk on the phone, which I think is sometimes not something that happens with the youth so Absolutely. much these days. So uh, we don't let her text all the time. She does have to visit with people on the phone as well. And it's it's been good for her, a good learning experience, and it's good for us too. So. Well, she does good work because she's got she a does. Facebook page, so you can look her up because yep. um, we're going to have her do some work for us too. And yep. she's done just a great job. She does. Okay, so if I need to go, if I need to know anything, I can come to your building between mm -hmm. 8.30 and yep. 4. 8.30 to 4.30. You can always call. We always have this. I always have the phones, uh, weekends, nights, whenever. Um, you can also check out our website at cranstonfamilyfuneralhome.com. Um, a lot of people have subscribed to our Facebook page, but I'll be posting videos with little tidbits of things as we run into. Um, I try and share little things that might help people as well. So always can check those things out too. Absolutely. Well, thank you for being here. Steve, have you done your pre-planning? I've started. Yeah. Jeremy knows that. He's got a file on me. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, there's a lot of people who have files on me. <laughs> well, I appreciate uh, it. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. Uh, once again, Leadership Fairfield, only four spots left. So you have uh, essentially about a week and a half, two weeks to sign up for that. And uh, it'll get underway. If you, you want to be a part of Leadership Fairfield or you have an employee you think it might benefit from that, uh, contact the chamber, chamber at fairfieldiowa.com or give them a call, 472-2111. Anything else on your list today? I think that's enough for this Monday. Hey, I got one other thing before we get out of oh. here. I do want to remind you that See the Community yes. Action is doing a... Um, school supply drive and you have until Wednesday to pick up school supplies and drop them off at their location at 2200 West Jefferson Street here in Fairfield and the distribution will be a week from Wednesday from 8 30 to 4 o'clock and uh, the income guidelines to get school supplies 
are uh, in line with uh, heating assistance. So if you want more information, contact CETA. So that's on our calendar as well. Jeremy, it's nice seeing you. Good Vinny, we'll talk you. to you next week. Sounds See good. you next week. Stay tuned. We have a look at the markets just around the corner here on 1570 KMCD.